What's up guys, I'm Lincoln, and I'm going to be showing you just the basics of blacksmithing. So let's get right to it. So, anyone can be a blacksmith. It's really easy, you just need four things. One is metal to pound. I'm using an axle from a bike. You need your forge or a fire to heat up the metal to pound on. So, if we just turn this propane on, so you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but it it can spill out per paint. You need an anvil, which I'm using a, an old railroad track that trains went over, and it good because it has rounded and it has corners. And last of all, you need a hammer or something to pound with, but I use a two pound hammer. So get to it. I have this piece of metal from, it's an axle from a bike, and it has this little piece of aluminum sticking off, and that is not ferrous slash magnetic, which is what you want in metal when you're forging, although this piece that we are going to be forging is ferrous slash metallic and like magnetic, but this piece, as you can see, is not. So, we're going to be cutting this piece off right now with an angle grinder. But first, let's talk about safety. These things can be really dangerous. And so, I'm wearing eye protection and ear protection. Okay, so let's get right to it. This is, I just cut it down to length and... So this piece of metal, we're going to be making a flagpole for a fish tank uh, for my class. And so this needs to be 6 inches long and it's just about over 5 inches long now. So we should be able to stretch it out an inch and be able to make that flagpole. So let's get right to it. This is pretty hot still. You can see how that's starting to get red. We need to wait till it's just about turning almost yellow. And then it'll be ready to start pounding on the anvil. So, let's take it out of the forge. final piece right here we polished it with the grinder drilled two holes in it right there and there and it looks pretty sharp like literally sharp like sharp like a, like a knife uh. <laughs> <laughs> 